Hello, everybody. I'm Malkreos. You may remember me from such charity events such as Game Over Cancer and Pixel for People yesterday and Pixels for People the previous run. I will be your host for the next couple of hours uh, here to introduce our next game, Primal Light, run by a runner that needs no introduction because he was introduced last game, Burtz. Take it away, Burtz. All right. Hey, everybody. I'm back. Um, so playing a, a different game, but kind of a similar uh, action platformer. Um, so if you haven't heard of this game, it came out uh, last year around this time, I think. Um, and it, uh, it's kind of an homage to uh, classic 16-bit action platformers. Um, and every, every level has kind of a unique different thing. Um, there are 10 levels total, kind of level-based level -based platformer. Um, and we can just kind of dive in here. And we'll talk about everything as we go. Um, something I need to do is delete this. There we go. Do indeed want to delete the file. All right, so we play on relaxed. Um, relaxed difficulty. Uh, basically, each of these increasing difficulties mean that you start with fewer lives and bosses have more health. That's really all that changes. Um, relaxed is also nice because if you uh, if you lose all of your lives and you use a continue, you're not going to kind of get booted back to the beginning of the stage like you do in veteran and hardcore. Uh, so we use relaxed. And with that said, I believe we're good to go. We'll start in three, two, one, go. Very first thing we do is skip a cutscene. So in that cutscene, a giant face zooms by our character's village and destroys it, which you can see in the background. Um, our character's name is Krog. Uh, Krog wants revenge on this face. Um, Krog also likes to roll. That's his one kind of movement uh, speed tech that we have right now. Uh, if you use that roll really consistently um, on the first screen of the game alone, you can save a full second on it. And there are plenty of places in this level to kind of fit in an extra roll here and there. Gosh, cat, terrible timing. There, one of my cats is like yelling at a door to be let in somewhere. So this level really all about jump timing. Do a little damage boost there. Just had a moment of like, am I playing any percent? Yes, yes I am. If you do 100%, you have to go a different path than on one of those screens. Ooh, okay. So we'll see, we got this. All right, we made it. <laughs> if I had been hit by that flame, I would have died and we would have gone back to a checkpoint, which would have been bad. All right, so every, most levels have a kind of mini boss section like this, um, where it's kind of like an enemy gauntlet. And I will be honest and admit, uh, my first time playing this game, I died on that first enemy gauntlet like 10 times at least. Um, and once I finished it, I was like, that has to be the end of the level. It is not the end of the level. This is the end of the level. So this boss is all about getting in a good spot to stand so that you can hit it really, really frequently. Um, that was a pretty good stage one, that boss, uh, you know, not super hard um, once you kind of see the patterns. These bosses are all about patterns, so the more you kind of catch on to what they do, uh, the easier they get. One thing that I did to kind of improve my time in this game was just spend time in boss rooms, um, staying alive, <laughs> and just like not hitting them, but just kind of avoiding stuff. Um, in when I was practicing for this marathon, um, so I'm a, a world record holder for this category, um, and I, uh, as I was practicing, uh, improved the world record by like 30 seconds ish. Um, so the, the record for this category right now is a 32.24, uh, which feels pretty good. I, I think we can push for a, a high 31 probably. Ah, that's okay. Getting hit by that guy is pretty common. Um, you don't want to hit him so that you get knocked back into the lava. <laughs> uh, the lava will kill you, of course. Um, plenty of instant death things in this game. Lava being one of them. Um, this room's a, a good example of um, if you start moving right away, um, you will be able to uh, 
uh, very quickly uh, realize that most rooms are built for speed. Um, you know, the majority of rooms in this game, if you just start moving right away, you're able to kind of get on a good cycle in the room. Mm, okay. Gonna heal here. Ooh. You'll notice I have a, a little bit of a healing mechanic. It's a little bit similar to um, like Hollow Knight. Okay. Yeah, that healing mechanic comes into play a lot so that we can do damage boosts like that. Ladders are the final boss in this game. Uh, you can only jump off of them if you are not holding up or down. If you try to jump off holding up or down, you're gonna you're gonna be in for a bad time. But that's All right, so we're moving into the uh, final two screens of this level. Now, this level is all about timing this damage boost well. And then this level is all about, uh, or this room is all about uh, getting past those bugs and then rolling on over to the boss. This boss is a giant orc with an eye, and he will shoot lasers. He will also do that. Ideally, he just spams this laser because it's super easy to dodge. Nice. He went down pretty quick. It's pretty good. Yeah, so that boss, pretty fun, pretty easy. Um, his laser, well, you can dodge around it pretty, pretty easily. It's not too bad. Stage three, we get uh, our first upgrade for movement tech. We're going to come down this way. Uh, we're required to pick this up by the game. So we get a slide. Uh, the slide basically replaces... Oh my gosh, please climb the ladder. Basically replaces our roll as our main movement tech. Bye. Because it's, it's faster and you can chain it better. It's also better because you can jump out of it. So if you're partway through a slide, you can jump out of it. Uh, but if you... Uh, Okay, there we go. If you are partway through a roll, you cannot jump out of that roll, and you will roll off an edge to your death. Please. Okay. Good job. <laughs> oh, didn't think I made it, actually. This screen's a little bit annoying. Um, you can go too fast on that screen. Please climb. No! Okay, see, that's, that's what I'm talking about accidentally rolled and had like no control over my movement. Right, it's gonna look like I'm like climbing this kind of slow but it's somewhat on purpose. Gosh, please move, dude. There we go. Alright, that level got a little bit, little bit out of hand. But we made it work. This screen's a little bit silly. Because you have to, like, kill a bunch of dudes as you climb, and then not get hit by the skeleton. Uh, bones that he throws. He has infinite bones, and we'll just throw them forever. All right, this uh, that little jump that I just did is named in honor of uh, Tyler Salt, who's another uh, speedrunner of this game. Uh, he discovered that little drop there, uh, totally on purpose, absolutely on purpose. Uh, oh. Uh, not getting the one cycle, that's okay. Two cycles, not bad here. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, so again, if you're like not familiar with this game, this is a really great opportunity to get familiar with it. It's it's pretty fun, it's pretty challenging. Um, 
you know, my first several runs of this game were like hour, 50 minutes. Um, but I found time goes down pretty quickly when you're speedrunning this game because you, you get the feel for the movement. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> All right, hop, hop. All right, let's see if we can get the uh, quick cycle in this room. Come on, nice, made it. If you don't get that jump and you've uh, committed to it, you can just fall to your doom, <laughs> which is not great. Hardest ladder in the game. You want to alternate jumping up. All right, this boss can be a huge pain. He's definitely a uh, he's definitely a, a gating kind of boss uh, for newer players. Okay. Wow. Wait. I'm gonna need to test something later. I feel like his uh, his shot there went through me and didn't hit me. Hmm. Hmm interesting. Uh, is the money important? No, the money is not important in this game. Um, we, we, we pick it up because it's just kind of in the way. Um, it's only important in um, the higher difficulties because you can buy more lives with it. Um, so buying more lives is important on difficulties where uh, if you die, uh, you get sent back to the beginning of the stage, or rather if you die and get a game over, that will happen. All right, so I'm going to go for some scary strats <laughs> here. Um, you can skip those pendulums and get them in, in one cycle, but it's very scary. I like to go for it because I'm crazy. But if you mess it up, you get hit and you're dead. <laughs> so it's pretty bad. Here I do like to wait. This feels a little bit safer to wait here. There we go. All right, this room is kind of cool. Um, it goes up and down and side to side. And so as you're kind of navigating through this room, um, you are going above a locked gate and then below a locked gate. Um, casually, you would definitely like pause. <laughs> nice job, dude. Ooh, okay, I almost died there, but we made it. <laughs> One thing to note about these like mini boss rooms or enemy uh, enemy group rooms, um, when those white circles appear around the enemies, uh, they will hurt you. Um, so if you're too close to an enemy when it appears in the level, uh, you'll get hit um, just from their appearance. Oh boy, yeah. <laughs> could have been bad. All right, cool. Um, so this is the one thing that we collect in any percent. Um, you're definitely, if you play this game, you're definitely, of course, welcome to collect other stuff uh, to make survival better. Um, there are health upgrades, there are heal improvement upgrades, uh, but I, I don't collect those. I instead just get this one charm uh, that when you equip it, allows you to do 1.5 damage, but you also take that same amount of extra damage. So it's a do more damage to deal more damage kind of situation. And that's pretty scary. Uh, it means that most bosses are able to like one-shot you, uh, which is not super great. Well, not one-shot you, but they, they can two-shot you. If you go in with low health, then they will uh, they will wreck your day. Here you go. So now we're on to kind of the, the second part of this level. We're going to be climbing up. And this room is another good example of just start moving. You will be on the right timing. Um, there's a, a room in this game in 100% that tells you, uh, if you read a, a little like tablet in there, it says, fortune favors the bold. Um, so if you take that philosophy in mind for most screens in this game, um, you'll be in pretty good shape to speed run it. 
This boss is tough. Um, his eye color indicates which way he's going to shoot. It was rotating. I was standing in a bad spot for that. So green is rotating clockwise. Red is rotating counterclockwise. Keep standing in a bad spot for the attack that he's doing. Give me yellow. Yellow. Yellow is a slow uh, multi-direction attack like that. Yeah. You want to see the yellow eyes because if he does the yellow eyes, he gives you a very easy pattern. And then you, you can't complain because he gave you an easy pattern. <laughs> I've seen him do just like the rotating attack multiple times. Um, on any percent, you really have to dodge that. You can't take more than like two hits there. I can. One of my cats has joined me. Excuse me, sir. So we just picked up a dash. Um, the dash you can do in midair. Um, it makes you dash. Big surprise. And this level makes heavy use of it. Like, you need it to get through this. Oh, no. Getting hit there is not the end of the world. Alright, this screen is kind of weird, uh, very timing based. Just want to get on these right away and then just start moving. on one of my favorite rooms in the game. Um, it's just kind of fun to just kind of blitz through this and do it well. It wasn't the best. Um, so this dude is a huge pain in the butt. Man, jeez, I'm getting my butt kicked right now. It's not great. All right, there we go. Thanks, dude. Jump, please. Thank you. One of my favorite rooms, yet I uh, managed to mess it up. <laughs> That's how things go, right? As yeah, so that room is just fun, it's like, you know, very timing based. We do a little stealth mission here to get past these guys. Then we're on to another mini boss. Once you kind of know where to stand and the patterns for these, they get much easier, but you know, for your first time playing it, you're probably going to die like three times on each of those. A little nice big drop there. Feels pretty scary. Yep, that is okay. We might end up dying on this boss. We might end up dying there instead. <laughs> Good job. I thought I jumped, but I did not. You get to see this drop again. Super easy to make mistakes in this game. Ow, okay. There we go. Let's not have that happen again. This is the room. Okay, so sometimes I forget that that room exists, and that's what happens when I forget. It happens. Alright, so coming up on this boss, he is really tough. He really doesn't give you any room to heal ever, so you really have to be mindful. I just like to hit him twice per, per jump that he does. Nice, there he goes. Yeah, so if he, if he hits you, it's bad, uh, but if you're able to avoid every hit, then you're, you're pretty solid. This next stage coming up, stage six, I like a lot. Uh, it's got a good aesthetic to it. Good music. Yeah, it's got everything. Look at all those skulls in the background. How cool. I just want to 
just want to make a quick follow-up to Maddox's mm -hmm. question earlier, where is the money important? You said in this, uh, in this version of the game, uh, in this game mode, the money is not important. Where it is important is for child's play. So if people would like to make a difference, uh, please feel free to use that donation link. Yes, please do. Yes, in this game, money does not matter. But in, in life, it does. So definitely donate, help out. Oh my gosh, what is that? <laughs> All right, so we're doing a little little climb here on these uh, uh, disintegrating platforms. Um, they're not too bad. Um, you even get a little bit of like grace uh, with them. Um, they're pretty generous. But even as they are like disappearing from under you, you can still jump, or, like mini coyote time kind of thing. Oh my gosh, dude! Please move. <laughs> He's really just gonna camp out there. Coming up on a, uh, a skip that uh, is lazily named uh, the Giant Skip. Uh, we're, we're shopping around for new names for it because Giant Skip is a, a lame name. Okay, get down, thanks. This room right here has killed many runs. <laughs> People will go into that room and be all excited that they got through a tough segment and then uh, just fall to their death because they like to slide in there. Okay. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, just catching up on that chat method. No. Okay, that's fine. Not a big deal. Uh, well, we might be okay here. No, we're not okay here. <laughs> that was my fault. <laughs> I thought I could dash fast enough, but I could not. I had very low health, um, so if you kind of whiff on the giant skip, you end up having to uh, heal a lot. If you end up having to heal a lot, then you end up uh, having no health at this point. Wow, okay. I know previously when we were talking before the, the run started, I, I mentioned that I I hadn't heard of this game before, but you know what, that was a lie, because now after you mentioned the giant skip, I distinctly remember it being run at another event where somebody suggested Yeti Spaghetti, uh, Yeti Forgetty. Yeti Forgetty, that's great. <laughs> and that's, that's the one that stuck in my head, I don't know why. But... <laughs> I like it, I like it. All right, this boss is, oh, he's being a jerk. Um, so, not too hard. He just likes to, you know, spam an attack and then teleport to the other side of the room. Nice. You can be a jerk with those skulls. Those skulls kick your butt if they hit you. They take, like, fully half your health out. The rest of his attacks aren't that strong, but the skulls are real bad. Alright, stage 7. Uh, there's a cool skip in this level. And we're going to be doing a, a death warp to make it happen. It's going to take a second to get there. Because you have to climb all these vines and jump over these like balls of energy or whatever that are shooting up from the abyss. don't understand exactly what's going on with those. Oh, okay. Disagree. That's fine, though. All right, so we want to be careful on this screen because we don't want to activate this checkpoint. We just jump over it. Oh my gosh, get the, get the double jump, please. And then we die. Oh no, we die, but it's okay. We go back to the beginning of the level and we still have the double jump. We need the double jump to get through this room, and it's faster to get to this room. <laughs> nice job. Uh, faster to get to this room from the first screen versus all the way at the end of that segment.
So this is the one, uh, oh my gosh, mini boss that can do a weird thing. They're doing the weird thing. Like sometimes, so these, uh, these like boomerang throwing guys are supposed to show up on top of the platforms. But sometimes they just decide, you know, we're just going to be on the ground with everybody else. Okay. That was a little scary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's new. Okay. <laughs> Magical. Just get bopped instantly. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, I shall have my revenge by walking past you. There we go. I have my revenge by being fast. <laughs> That's how it goes in this game sometimes. Super easy to die. This boss is the worst one. He can give you this pattern. He has another uh, pattern where he shoots flames kind of randomly like this. He can also do this, uh, which is a, a better pattern, but still pretty bad because he makes these flames. Wow, I got trapped. Oh no. That was my own fault. Yeah, this is an okay one. Whoa, that's not okay though. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> dude. He's giving me, like, the worst possible pattern. We made it, though. <laughs> Almost did not. If you look at my health right now, I have, like, two pixels worth of health. So that can be pretty bad. <laughs> really good music in that level and on the boss. Now we're into uh, the gross out level. We're going to be doing some scary stuff here. Like that. Oh my gosh, slide please. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so this level is uh, very much like uh, high high risk uh, level because if you fall uh, in any of many places uh, it's over for you. You gotta go back to a checkpoint. Let's see if we can get skip this guy. We did it. A pretty tough jump. Very uh, very precise there. Okay. There we go. Go. <laughs> I think sometimes I'm like too early pressing the slide button and so it doesn't actually do anything. Alright. There's another room where uh, if you go in too fast, uh, you will get yourself killed. For the sake of safety, I'm going to take this room a little bit slower than I normally would. Go, <laughs> please. Alright, so I'm, I'm pretty convinced we can find a way to do this room without killing those guys, but I have yet to actually figure it out. You don't want to go to the right here. It's very tempting to do so, but don't do it. <laughs> it is one of the worst rooms in the game, and you don't even need it for 100%. Oops. Oh. Okay. This boss is a DVD screensaver. If you have uh, you have experienced a DVD screensaver in your life, you will understand what I mean based on that attack that he does. Yep. 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 Yeah, so this doesn't seem too bad. It gets worse. 
Oh my gosh. Especially if they take this many hits. Yeah, see, it gets worse. <laughs> he takes 24 hits total with the, uh, the current loadout that we have. Yep. Messed up. Alright, did it. I've lost many runs to that boss. <laughs> It's one of the harder ones, just because it's really hard to predict what he's going to do. Um, he will, you know, just kind of decide sometimes, like, now I will bounce, um, like, ten times in a row. Just be, be a jerk. <laughs> yeah, if you don't know what a DVD screensaver is, we need to have a, a larger conversation here. Alright, this ninth level is definitely the hardest in terms of platforming. Um, the level boss is not too bad, but getting to the boss is real, real hard. Okay, guys. Alright. Yeah, all those uh, rotating bullets are, are random. So, here I like to wait a second, go... Drop... Whoa, okay. Almost did not survive that, but we did. But it's okay. Oh no. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna play it safe here. Just because I, I have low health and not many heals. Um, there's a way to kind of damage boost through this last little segment. Uh, but it's not advisable if you have no heals left. Yo, know, thanks for the follows. I appreciate that. Okay, here we go. Alright. Come on, dude. This is one of the, uh, the hardest rooms in the game. Oh my gosh. And it, it's tough based on the, the way you have to go through it. And also, you have to do it twice. <laughs> to assign the, the scenes content. Yes, that's the main reason to get the DVD. Oh, that was stupid. <laughs> Could have one cycled it, but I messed it up. That's okay. Do the one cycle there, you don't want to do a double jump like I did. For safety, I'm going to take a death here and just get my heals back for the boss. This boss is not like super hard. Go, please. Um, he can be kind of a jerk though, depending on the attacks that he spams, he can be kind of mean. Nice. He was not a jerk. I did not even need the heals. <laughs> Alright, so that's level 9. We're on to level 10. Uh, level 10, uh, we go to, uh, surprisingly, to space. And I don't know how Krog is able to breathe in space, but he is. Uh, he might just be because he's blue. But we're in space. We also see some, some galaxy brains here. See if you can spot those. A galaxy brain in its natural habitat. Okay. And I don't care about taking that damage boost because I'm about to die on purpose anyway. Uh, Ten levels total in this game. And we die. That's to warp back to the top of this screen. It's a little bit faster than trying to navigate the whole screen. time to heal up here, the, the way the laser cycles work. Alright. Yeah, really, the rest of this level is just timing your jumps based on the laser cycles. What's up, Galaxy Brain? I don't mind waiting for this one, because you end up uh, having to kind of wait anyway for this one. Oh gosh. 
this room is a little bit dangerous. Um, if you, so the your drop speed is very very fast at a certain point, and if you drop fast enough, you will drop off the camera, and the game thinks that because you're off the camera, uh, you should die. Um, so you can just die if you uh, drop by mistake in that room. Hi, hello kitty. Can I help you? Hi. No. <laughs> Please get your tail out of my face, dude. Hi. What? We have a, I have a guest. I've been blessed with cat guest. Hi. Oh my gosh, dude. It's attack time. <laughs> yeah? Alright, so this boss has three phases. This is phase two. In each phase, he makes the arena a little bit smaller. He's kind of a jerk. And time is on the last hit. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> okay. There it is, time. <laughs> yeah, so that's our giant face. Uh, Andros is the last boss of this game, apparently. Yeah, he goes down pretty quick. He's not not the worst final boss, but you will, you know, casually, you'll probably die about ten times. So there you go. Um, unlike Donald, there is no like bonus uh, thing here. You just get to see Krog's return. Uh, yeah, and you can see all of the the Krogs celebrate together. You always have to join them. <laughs> Thank you for the GGs as well. Uh, but yeah, that's that's Primal Light, a small indie game, two-person dev team. Um, so shout-outs to them. Um, they do they do really good work, and they they you know are very active in their Discord. Um, you know, have been really helpful, kind of like asking them questions about the game and stuff. Um, so Shane and Jeff, thanks, appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for me. Um, we get to see the in-game time here in a second, but uh, we don't we don't really use that because it's not super accurate. <laughs> so. Uh, so there you go. That is Primal Light. All right. Well, thank you very much. That was a really fun speed run to watch. Uh, one one of the things I learned is that the floor is lava, and yes. lava is dangerous. Yes, lava is a uh, one one hit kill. So, <laughs> so we're definitely uh, gonna. I'm gonna definitely gonna be avoiding any lava that I encounter in real life. Good choice. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but thank you very much for these last two games. Uh, Everybody, please stick around. We are going to be moving on to a bit of a NES game block for now uh, with uh, roller games coming up next. So please stay tuned and we'll see you all in a bit.